What is the biggest red flag? Bro, when a girl is going to Miami with her friends for spring break? Yeah, you lost to my boy. Done. Yeah, done. <laughs> oh, this is so true. Uh, I, I mean, this is part of the relationship rules, right? Like, if you uh, let a girl go on vacation by herself or with a girlfriend, or, you know, go to nightclubs or whatever with a girlfriend, it's done. Like, she's not your girl. Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios, here for another reaction video. Uh, of course, we're going to do um, this Biggest Red Flags compilation. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, hitting all for notifications. If you'd like me to comment on a video or compilation, please send, it to the, li uh, send the link to the Helios blog at gmail.com. Let's continue. Done, bro. That's red flag. <laughs> Yeah, red flag. Another one. If she's from the Bronx, especially South Bronx, no red red flag. Oh, red flag. Red flag bro. in the play. Yes, <laughs> on the play. What else? Uh, so in general, if a girl is from a low-income neighborhood, this could be con uh, this could be sketchy. And here's the reason: low-income neighborhoods tend to have a uh, more single-parent households than other neighborhoods. And so, if they have more single-parent households, um, the girls are likely to turn out very badly. Uh, these are the things to look out for as red flags. Fake nails, fake hair, entitled attitude, no father, or, like, you know, daddy issues. Um, lots of tattoos, um, you know, uh, womanist, uh, womanist hair, etc. Okay, let's, let's uh, continue. Oh, when she put the same picture saying, take me back, take me back, just pay for another vacation, bro, they red flag. It. I, I'm not sure what that, what that's referring to. Red flags to look out for. Number one, every time you go out, they just happen to have something to argue about. Hmm. Number two, anytime there's an issue, they want to go on a break. A break. Okay, um, so... What's funny is that this girl's telling on herself, right? So women very often when they do TikToks because of solipsism, they're going to talk about themselves. So if she always has something to argue about when you go out in public, it's a very, very, very bad sign. Because women that will start arguments over nothing are going to be cancerous partners in the long term. So you don't want that. Um, what was the other one she said? Um, whenever there's a problem, they go on a break. Uh, yeah, if a girl goes on a break, do you know what it means, the translation? Well, if a girl goes on a break, it means she wants to sleep with another man. So, of course, uh, that's an instant relationship under. Okay, uh, this is... So, probably these are things she has done. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see uh, the next one. Break is an excuse to cheat. And then when you find out, they can be like, well, we were on a break. Three, they cheated on the person they were with right before you. You know, the, these are actually really good uh, f f uh, for men to look out for in women. So, yes, if if the woman has said that she's cheated on a previous partner, even one, it means she'll very likely cheat on you. Uh, it means she's not trustworthy. And uh, if a girl has impulsive, non-trustworthy behavior, she's not good for a long-term relationship. She has friends with benefits only. Just keep that in mind. Four, they're still friends with their ex. These are these are actually really good. Uh, these are all like red flags to look out for in women, for men. Good job. She's actually good job. That's right. If the girl remains friends with her exes, then uh, you can be sure that she's going to cheat on you. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the relationship rules is to not allow the girl to have any male friends. And of course, she can't have contact with her exes. That goes without saying. Five, they can't apologize without putting themselves down. So it'll sound something like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a piece of SHIT. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's a problem uh, if the girl does this sort of thing. Like, um, um, what she's trying to do, actually, if, if she does something like that, like what was described in the video here, uh, what she's trying to do is she's trying to guilt trip you, right? She's trying to make you feel guilty that you made her feel like garbage about herself. And she wants you to try to comfort her feelings. It's manipulative. And uh, this sort of manipulative behavior is just very annoying to deal with. Uh, and most men don't want to deal with that sort of thing.
Yeah, I'm sorry, I can never do anything right. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. What are some weirdly specific things that you consider to be red flags in men? If he is not ambitious or committed to his growth, huge red flag. Okay, so <laughs> this one is, is actually a really good one. I'm really glad she said it. Uh, so, a lot of women will say that they want ambitious men who are committed to their growth. So here's what it means, okay? Ambitious is code word for money. So they want a man with money. Now here's the thing. M women in their rock star phase, age 18 to 23, they most of the time don't care about a man with money. They want a man who's physically fit, dominant, who's superior. So this girl is telling on herself that she's age 24 plus because that's when women start to look for ambitious, which means has money so uh, and committed to his growth. So basically what she's saying is that I want a guy to take care of me and pay all the bills. I want him to be the primary breadwinner. And um, the reason this would be a red flag in a woman is because the way that the divorce laws work in the modern world is if you're making more money than her and taking care of her and paying for everything, she's going to get half of it. So, there you go. Also, many women will say uh, it's a red flag when you don't provide, uh, you know, pay for everything in the relationship, but they're not willing to bring anything to the table. Uh, they're not willing to uh, look feminine, be physically fit, uh, cook and clean, uh, you know, follow your rules and direction. Uh, th basically, they want you to pay for everything and them to have all the freedom that they had uh, as a single girl. That's, that's the idea there. Just think of it this way. What is someone who has no goals going to offer to you? Right, so here's the thing. The way that this girl is framing things, she's saying that um, men have to give to me. How much can I extract? What is he providing me? What has he done for me lately? That's what she's implying. She's implying that men are there to impress and to provide for women. And women don't have to provide anything. Notice how nothing she said in here talks about what she provides in exchange. It's what is he giving to me? This person is probably used to settling for less and will probably expect you to do the same. So don't settle is also a huge red flag, okay? This is a womanist mantra. So if a girl believes in the don't settle thing, it, it, this is an automatic sign of entitlement. It's a sign that she believes that no matter what she does, she's deserving of a certain level. Um, it's like, I don't know if you've heard the term 49er, like a girl who's a four that expects a nine. Uh, this is one such girl. I, I, I mean, she's not a four, but you get what I'm saying. She is a girl who wants a man who is far above her station. She doesn't know her place, right? And uh, this, and you can even tell in her facial expression, right? She looks down on people. Even in this TikTok, she's looking down at the camera, right? She's talking down at whoever's listening because this is what she's used to. She's used to talking down to everyone because she expects her needs to be um, provided for without providing anything in return so don't settle and find a man who's working on himself every single day right so what would happen if you were with such a woman what she would do is if you're not working on yourself every single day according to her she's going to shame you guilt you make you feel like crap etc okay let's go to the next one what's the biggest red flag in a guy friendliness Friendliness is a red flag? What? Uh, I don't understand this. Um, I mean, what she's basically saying is that uh, she was alpha widowed by a friendly guy, like a charismatic guy, I guess. Okay, let's, let's, let's move on. I, this is incoherent. Usually girls don't like friendly guys. Like uh, they're not attracted to them on a physical level, I'm saying. What's the biggest red flag in a guy? If he's like really obsessed with cars. If he's obsessed with cars? Uh, okay, so 
what this might imply from this girl um, is that she doesn't want a guy who cares about something other than her. She wants a man to be fully devoted to her. And here is why that's a red flag. When she was younger, in her prime, she wants a guy who isn't focused on her. She wants a guy who's focused on himself, who won't commit, who's physically attractive, etc., etc. As she gets older, those men are now red flags because um, she can't get them, right? So, uh, instead, she wants a guy to be fully devoted to her and to put her on a pedestal and to take care of her, to save her from her bad decisions. That's why she would say that a red flag is a guy that is obsessed with cars. Yeah. Why that? Why cars? I don't know. Car guys are just annoying. Car guys are just annoying. Oh, she's telling on herself. Uh, so usually when girls say stuff like this, what it implies is she got alpha widowed by a guy who was obsessed with cars. So it's it's really funny. It's actually the opposite. Usually when girls say like uh, X is a red flag, if you do X, they'll actually be physically attracted to you. So I'm not saying do that. I mean I'm saying that's what they react to. I don't like <laughs> loud cars. <laughs> Loud cars. Right, because women totally don't like the men that drive muscle cars. They're totally not attractive. And I totally haven't seen like 500 Tinder profiles that's like fast cars only. Or, you know, some variation of that. Okay. Controller, picture me. I'm a wrist is frozen. Calling my body, I'm chosen. Now I got a wide open. See off the perky seat. Okay, sure. Uh, next. Top five red flags and girl. If your girl does any of these things on here, you better get away. Number five is that zodiac sign bullcrap. Yes. If the girl is obsessed with zodiac signs, there's going to be something psychologically wrong with her. I'm not saying this to be rude to women. Uh, basically, zodiac signs are total BS. And if a girl uh, says that she believes in this kind of thing, it means that there's no or there's limited logical ability. She's just going to believe whatever cultural trend goes into her brain. And you don't want to be associated with such a girl. She's going to say, I do X irrational behavior because, insert irrational zodiac explanation here. Uh... I scratched, uh, I, I uh, keyed my ex-boyfriend's car because I'm an Aries and I'm headstrong like that. Or some such nonsense. Like, if you're going to judge who I am based off the day I was born, you got a serious problem. Like, it's not my fault. I didn't know how it was going to be when I was pushing out of my mom's, you know what? Number four is Instagram followers, bro. Agreed. Oh, yes. This is a total red flag. And actually, it's one of the relationship rules. No uh, social media. See, here's the thing. I've already said this in a previous video. The reason why women have Instagram followers is so they can be the town crier for their appearance. So they can show themselves and their body to as many men as possible so that they can get lots of attention. And from this attention, they can hypergamously choose the top men. Here's the problem. Those top men, when they see how much she's advertising herself, they'll instantly say no. And so it leads to the vicious cycle of them getting, a, a, you know being in let's say for fun only relationships with these top men who then never commit and then they say where have all the good men gone i'm gonna keep it a bean usually i look at it like if she's got like three thousand or less she's okay anything over 3k she's definitely got d1 dude uh no uh it doesn't matter uh either way she's like if she has social media at all it's too much social media uh, it should be a requirement for her to cut it. And if she refuses to cut it, then, I mean, you know what position she's in. Friends with benefits only. Dude's out the butt in her DMs, bro. Number three is if she got shoe game, bro. I'm shoe game? Right. So if, if she spends a lot of money on shoes, I, I guess. Uh, I mean, it, it does in, uh, imply impulsivity, to be honest. And impulsivity is a huge red flag. So uh, if she's impulsively buying a million clothes, a million shoes... Uh, if she if she can't stop herself from buying things or from doing stuff like that, that is a red flag. 
Or it could indicate something even worse, which is that there are other men buying this stuff for her, which is which makes her basically a lady of the night, which also makes her unworthy of long-term relationships. So, no, he's right. We'll hold you like, yeah, it's tough, but somebody was getting her hit to the shoe game before you, and somebody still is if it isn't you. Right. Think about that for a second. Number two is she got a guy best friend. Oh, Absolutely. Uh... Any sort of male friends is actually no in the relationship rules. You should not allow your girl to have male friends. Because here's the thing. What she's going to do if she has male friends is that male friend is going to try to undermine you at every turn. So any little mistake you make in his eyes, he's going to try to shut down the relationship. And it's because he wants to sleep with your girl. So... She's not your girl if she has a male best friend. He's going to try to sabotage the relationship. So you need to have her choose. And if she refuses to get rid of the male friend, well, she's made her choice. Dudes think alike. And that guy best friend looks at your girlfriend just like you do. Think about it. And number one, bro, is snap score. If it's over a mil, you better hit the hills, bro. Snap score. Well, of course, right? Like, it, this is just like Instagram, right? Like, if the girl has lots of followers, if she has lots of attention from men, uh, and you know how Snapchat works, right? Like, it, d it deletes itself, right? So, she can basically uh, get the attention of many men and, and, like, delete her tracks. This is a huge red flag, of course. Snapchat is a, is a definite no. This guy, very well done. He missed, he missed a few of them, but he, he, did, he, did get, he did get quite a lot. So, thumbs up to this guy. Good job. Stay safe, my friends. What do you think the biggest red flag is in a guy? <laughs> um, acting different in front of his friends. Acting different in front of his friends. Okay, so here is... She, again, she's telling on herself, right? So, what she's saying is that the guy she was alpha widowed by, he put on a very specific persona for her that she really enjoyed, but it wasn't the real him. He was just putting on a show, but he was different in front of his friends. Or being rude to his mom. Oh, well, I mean, this, th again, this, this shows uh, women are physically attracted to men that are not nice, right? So man, so, you know, you always see uh, TikToks and stuff uh, where the girl says, this is what I need in a man. And she'll say all the things that tell on herself, right? She'll say, like, I need a man to take care of me. I need a man who's totally devoted to me. I need a man that makes me not question uh, his loyalty. I need a man who, uh, you know, um, cooks and cleans for me. I need a man that takes care of me. I need a man who's polite to his mom and loves his family. And basically... These women are saying that they were alpha widowed by a guy with the opposite characteristics, right? And this is one such instance here. So she was alpha widowed by a guy who was rude to his mom. So he's probably not a very nice person. So there's the implication, right? Like in 2022, women are choosing men who are like this. Are we rolling? Listen, pussy. Do not Okay, too many swear words. We're going to move on. Sorry. Next. The guy who says, my ex is crazy, all my exes are crazy, whatever. No, babe, babe. Okay, this is actually, again, this girl is telling on herself, right? So any ex that says, all my exes are crazy. So if you meet a girl and she says that all of her past partners are crazy, guys... Please, for the love of all things holy, get away. She is going to be nuts, I'm telling you. Get away from the girl. So if she calls all of her exes crazy, what is the common denominator? Her. Good one. She told on herself. Babe, what the fuck did you do to make them crazy? Please I know girls, stop I know swearing. Girls, they're not crazy until you make them crazy. Guys that always make you come to them, they will never come. Guys that always make you come to them. So you see, again, she's telling on herself here. So she was alpha widowed by a guy who made her...
come to him. So here is the iron rule of relationships, okay? The person who cares about the other the least has the most power. So she was Im she's implying here that she was with a guy who didn't give a damn about her. She had to go to him. She only likes men who have that sort of sway over her. Clearly. I'll come to you. What? What is this? Any guy who constantly says Saturdays are for the boys, like babe. Saturdays are for the boys. So again, she was alpha widowed by a guy who he had better things to do on Saturday than be with her. So again, very clearly, right? This girl is telling you how to get with her. How to get with her, 101. Saturday night, you're busy. So she's wondering, why is he so busy? Why won't he prioritize me? Uh, when will I have time? When will he have time for me? And then she texts him. Can I can I get 20 minutes of your Saturday night? You see? Girl, if you're with a man like that, he will not give two fucks about you. His boys will always come before you. No. Also, men. This is really important. And uh, it's actually a very good point by this girl. I've actually written uh, and, and uh, even spoken a post about this, which is that women are the cherry and men are the cake. So when she says that the boys are more important than the girl is to the, to the guy... It's true. Men, your life should be more important to you than your girl. Basically, your girl is a cherry on top of your life. If you lose her, you're still the cake. She is just a cherry. Cakes are still good without cherries. So your friends are more important. The activities you do are more important. Your job is more important. Your mission is more important. Your hobbies are more important. Everything is more important than her. By design, you should do that. Okay, next. Most of the time, not all, but 90% of the time, a guy who has a girl best friend is not a really a girl best friend. That's your competition. Uh, yeah, of course. Women are only attracted to men who have multiple girl options. So a guy who has a girl best friend, well, okay, this is, this is her telling on herself, right? So she is probably a girl with a guy best friend and uh, a guy best friend is competition. She's telling on herself. Usually if a man has a girl best friend, it means he's a loser, right? And the girl is using him for attention, validation, gifts, etc. And he's not getting the physical validation, let's say, from her. Uh, so this is, this is actually her telling on herself. Next. She secretly wants that guy. All right. I think, I think that's a good place to end it. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, remember to sub on your way out and I'll see you next time. Also, please remember to leave a comment um, because I, I really do appreciate your uh, your input here. And uh, uh, I mean, even if you disagree with some of my points, that's what the comment section is for. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to do all of the following. Like the video for the algorithm. Comment on the video. I respond to all comments and I'll give you a heart. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can see my content on your feed. Check out all of my content on other platforms. It spreads the reach of the channel. YouTube, bit.ly slash Helios YouTube. Rumble, bit.ly slash Helios Rumble. My blog is realheliosblog.com. My podcast, bit.ly slash Helios Podcast. My Patreon, patreon.com slash the Helios blog. You can also support the show at bit.ly slash Helios donations and buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. Thank you so much for all of your support.